everyone this is Heather with Best Laid Plans and today because the National Sticker Day week is upon us I wanted to quickly film a brief overview of how I organized my sticker books in my sticker collection and I'm going to start with this top row um, I keep everything in a cube shelf I got this from Target it's the Threshold brand um, the rug I have is from Amazon it's just like a pink fur shag Faux fur shag rug. And I like to use these storage boxes from the Happy Planner. So I have them, these are in the nat natural geometric pattern. And then this was the special florals goals bundle that they had this past fall in 2020. Uh, and what I've done is I have arranged all my sticker books. And then these are all my happy notes. I use those to organize my filler paper collection. So I have those here in the back, just to kind of weigh it down um, toward the back. And in the front here of each of these, I have my different sticker books and also some accessory packs. So the way I've organized these is based on theme um, and how I use them. So, so you'll see that I don't have them in alphabetical order necessarily, uh, and this just works easier for me. I don't like to take them out of the books because I like to um, kind of have more process, less processing, as um, those in the um, archives profession might say. I, I'm comfortable with flipping through sticker books to find the stickers that I need, but I don't want to have to flip through all of my sticker books alphabetically to see you know, the type of sticker that I want. So these are my most functional stickers. And I have the household sticker book in the front here, the productivity book. I use these almost every week. Mood tracking, all the feels. Um, this is my favorite budget sticker book. It is the 1424 pieces. And it just works the best out of all the budget books for me. And then I have goals, and I also have Boss Babe here um, that I use for like my social media planner. And then next to those, I have my seasonal books. So I have the Wrong Wrong Seasons here. I have Merry and Bright, The Fall, the old sticker book of seasons from the, the first release. And then um, one of the old memory keeping dates and holidays, which I use for redating. I don't have the homebody seasons here because it is part of the happy planner girl release and i actually have all of those in this next area here um, behind the seasonal books that i use the most i have um, the super school yeah the super cool stickers mega book so that's one of those um, there and then the greatest hits mega book behind that So moving on, the center row here is all of my Happy Planner accessory packs and sticker books that are part of the Happy Planner Girl collection. If you're not familiar with the Happy Planner Girl collection or you're not sure what I mean when I say that, Happy Planner Girl was a special set of different um, themed sticker books and accessories and planners. And I think... It was initially released at Joann's, but it's available broadly. Um, and there were a couple different ones from the initial release. Probably the most famous is the Miss Maker collection. 
Now, I don't have the Miss Maker sticker book, but I have the accessory pack. I have some other things from this collection as well. And she's sort of the crafty um, sewing and paper craft DIY theme planner girl. I also have the Healthy Hero, Daydreamer, one of my favorites, Trendsetter, Goal Getter, and I have these two um, books I just stuck back here because I didn't really have anywhere else to put them, but these are the two Plan a Happy Life with Stephanie Fleming um, sticker books. So those go with the Plan a Happy Life book collection that got released in 2020. So over here I have um, not the accessory packs, but just regular sticker books for the Happy Planner Girl collections. So at the front I've got Planner Babe, I have Homebody, Savvy Saver, Glam Girl, Stargazer, The Minimalist, Happy Hostess, and as I mentioned before, Homebody Seasons. So that is all of my Happy Planner Girl accessory book and sticker book collections. I do have um, some of like the Miss Maker and I've got like the Stargazer Happy Notes and filler paper back here. And then moving on, I have more um, like decorative and elemental stickers. So in this category here, I have the Pastel Mega Book. I have the Rainbow Sticker Book, Watercolor. I have Colorful Boxes, Layered Boxes, and Jewel Tone Boxes. And then over here, I have some more of the kind of full box and colorful themed collections um, that have been released. So uh, these are more decorative stickers. I have Color Story, the original, and Color Story 4. I'll just kind of pull those out so you can see what they look like. Um, if you see the ones that have these stickers on the top that I had to write, it's because they didn't have the name on the top. So I've written it in so I can easily tell which ones they are. So I've got Farmhouse, Squad Goals, and I think this is the Seasonals. Yeah, this is Squad Life. I should re I should relabel that. Um, I have the original Boho book, which I'm practically through. It's it's basically empty. Um, Free Spirit, Simply Lovely, and I've got Dream Seeker, This Colorful Life, and Stronger Together. And I just got this one from Main Street Paper Company. So the final area for my Happy Planner sticker books is this. Um, floral box here and I have the floral mega book um, I almost did not come out of no spend December um, to, but this this is what pulled me out and I'm glad I got it because I think it's sold out almost everywhere now um, so it, it's a really great book if you're like me and you love florals this is the best book because um, it's just got everything and then I have the layered florals I have this floral sticker book that came with this bundle, flowers, and then botanicals, which again, I'm almost completely used up. Um, so that's all the florals. And then also in this, I've kind of collected all my Disney stickers and put them together. So I have um, this large Mickey and Friends. I have the Princess Colorful Boxes. I have the Once Upon a Time um, classic stickers, Disney Princess, Princess Magic, which is the larger stickers, Princess Plans, um, which is the um, three, uh, 1,318 piece one, and then I have Princess Plans, the 1155. So the only difference between these is this is sized for the mini. So those are my sticker books that are on my top shelf here. I also have some of the roll stickers. I just keep them in this. Um, this is mainly the fitness ones. And then inside my cube shelf, 
I keep any sticker books that are non Happy Planner stickers in here. So I have some Disney vinyl stickers I got from Amazon in here. These Chrissy Ann ones. Um, I have some Recollections ones, Craftsmart, and I also have some like Dollar Tree and Five Below ones in there. So I just keep those inside that basket. It makes it really easy. And then down here in these different albums, um, that's my sticky advent calendar. I'll leave a card if you want to see the stickers that came in that. Um, but these are just loose stickers and die cuts. And what I've done is I have taken them. So I've got some sealer moon ones. And I have these little zip containers for all of these. So I can access them really easily and keep them together. So I have three that are like this. And then um, I need to kind of finish organizing between the two of these, but I like to use these Michael's Recollection sticker holders um, for my loose stickers um, that I get from Etsy. And it, it just keeps them where I can access them quickly. I can see what they are. Um, so that is where I keep loose like Etsy stickers, um, things like that when I buy them so I can find them. And then last, um, lastly, I have this A5 um, ring binder and this is where I keep my sticky sticker club monthly sticker inserts when I get them. So if I if I'm not using them, I like to keep them in the original sleeves that they came in just so I know that's where they came from. So that is what I keep in here. So that is my sticker collection and storage. I know that it's pretty simple, but I like to keep it that way. I know there are people who take out all the individual sheets and they make their own um, sticker books um, sheet by sheet, but I just don't have time to do that much processing. <laughs> um, so I like to kind of keep everything um, at the top level and that way I can search through and find things easily. And um, I, it's been working really well for me. I haven't had to really search high and low for stickers. And your sticker collection might be bigger or smaller. You might not use stickers at all um, or not enough to like warrant a whole area of your office or craft room for them. But um, just know that everyone's kind of in a different place in their journey. Uh, I started Happy Planner, I think back in 2000, like the late 2016, early 2017. So I've been collecting Happy Planner for a while. So a lot of these sticker books that are ones I previously had, like the watercolor book, um, things like that, they are nearly like used up completely. That's just something to be aware of. If you're, you know, you're still growing your sticker collection or you only have one or two books, just use what you have. Um, and, you know, don't worry about collecting everything. Uh, this is just my big personal hobby, so that's why I have so many. It's it's better to have a collection that you use um, than just a huge pile of disorganized sticker books that you can't find anything in. So uh, organize what you have, use what you have, and I will see you all in the next video. Happy Sticker Week!